Hey YouTube! Hey, I just wanted to give you a weekly update. Everything's going pretty good. Actually, it's going excellent. So let me give you a walkthrough. Got some giant sunflowers going here. One of them got snapped off by the squirrels. They're looking good. Getting some big heads on them. Cherry tomatoes here are absolutely exploding. Picked some squash last night. Had it for dinner. Pretty tasty. I have no idea why these cherry tomatoes are smaller than these cherry tomatoes but they are the bell peppers uh, now that it's warming up all of the peppers are growing a lot faster and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to stake these up like I've done with the uh, Rutgers down here but everything's going great got some micro toms here uh, these are Ildes and um, can't remember the others the blonde blondes that uh, were sent to me from someone on ASA and I just want to give a shout out to uh, all my ASA friends and Seed Exchange 2 friends and they're all great supporters appreciate you watching so these purple jalapenos are looking excellent I'm really happy with all of the plants but these Rutgers are just taking off I mean look at the stalks on these things and I'm glad I uh, staked them up with these cages because they are almost to the top and the lettuce and bok choy are looking great as well we're gonna start uh, pulling some of this bok choy off and and have some of it for uh, a little stir-fry I've never had bok choy, so uh, kind of eager to try it. You can just pull the leaves off from the uh, outside and it'll just keep growing. We have had some lettuce. And this is my latest creation. This is my outdoor hydro caged tomato um, setup project I've been working on for a while and uh, just got it set up yesterday I've got enough hose there for an extra uh, cage wasn't sure if I was going to use that cage on the tomatoes or on the on this setup here but uh, this will actually allow me to collect some of the water uh, it's uh, dripping now because I've just drilled these holes and I haven't used any silicone uh, sealer on them I just got this set up yesterday and the only thing I have to do is find a way to get this water pumped up. The, the water's able to uh, drain so I can collect it and not just let it go to waste. So uh, I can either set up a bunch of buckets here and then make some steps to uh, be able to pour this back in or I can get me some kind of hand pump that will allow me to um, put these 
this um, runoff back into the back into the uh, barrel so that's probably the last step I've got to take um, I'm really excited about this because I've seen Bobby's tomatoes and uh, I'm hoping I can get something that sort sort of resembles Bobby's tomatoes these are big beefs or at least I hope they're big beefs because uh, I've got so many plants over in the uh, uh, on the porch that I kind of lost track of what they are but I think they're big beefs and I wanted to show you the tomatillas they are really producing and this plant has a huge stalk on it I've got a couple more but they're not anywhere near the size of this one so everything's going great I really like the the system it's working out great I just gotta make sure it doesn't run out of water because one of one of the drippers quit dripping and it didn't take long before they were wilting so I appreciate uh, all the support you watching my videos and I'll keep you advised thanks bye